Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel that is Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we get down with the entertainment news out there in the world. Here, we're going to have a segment today done on the who, what, when, where, how in the entertainment world. And we're going to be talking about none other than Kenya Moore from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, she has definitely brought herself back on the scene, and she's showing out for, I guess, uh, philanthropy type work, charity work, just trying to spread the word out there in society or the global world itself that you too can have a baby. The miracle babies are what they're talking about. The IF, oh, I'm sorry, the IVF uh, fertility treatment and all of that jazz and all that good things for people in my eyesight who got money. Now, I'm not saying, you know, everybody poor out there. And, you know, they don't have no money, but yet, you know, they should have the same opportunity. I ain't talking against those people because I know, hey, when you want to have a baby and all of your functionalities that God uh, gave you to produce a baby along with the man and the sperm and all of that thing that we were taught in science class, you know, the birds and the bees, the dog is in the trees. OK, but anyway. Kenya's out there promoting, or she's calling herself, teamed up with a foundation organization, nonprofit, where she's going to be their ambassador, their sp uh, spokesperson for their program. Now, I'm thinking it has to cater to the rich and famous or people that got money to do IVF treatment because the stuff is not cheap, okay? You have to mortgage your home. You probably have to get out uh, all your savings. It's just a lot when you're talking about having one of those miracle babies where you're basically dealing with science and uh, injection medications to be put in your body. And hopefully our interaction will happen with the medication, the sperm and the egg and poof, you will have a child uh, growing in your body or your surrogate that's carrying the baby for you. Uh, but I don't know if it's really like a misinterpretation of, you know, when she's going out there doing these things. Is she going to be acting crazy out in the streets? And she's going to be, um, what do you call it, promoting a, a well-established organization, but she's going to be cutting up on reality TV. I don't know if she's going to be a good brand ambassador. You know, I'm like, Kenya, you need to straighten up and fly right. You need to work on your marriage if that's what you want to do because I'm going to definitely do another video. They talk about you might be going back tomorrow. Now I'm like, pump your brakes on that situation, can you? Because if the man done cheated on you and you don't found out proof, you know, I'd say proof is in the pudding. That man ain't going to change no time soon, especially if he's saying, no, 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 he didn't, did, didn't do it. And then your gut, you're saying, yeah, 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 you did because I have proof. Okay, I have footage. You know, we can't go on like this. The man has got to change before any change can develop of him being a better person, a better husband, and a better father. Okay, but that's another video. Getting back off the subject, um, I need to get back on the subject and get off that video and try to get ready to work on it. I don't know if you need to be the brand ambassador, okay? Because you 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 two kind of here and there and everywhere. And if you're talking about women in general that want to have a baby, but in a sense, they can't afford IVF treatment, then what are you going to do with those people? I mean, are you specifically speaking to... Everybody can have a miracle baby if they work second jobs and third jobs and mortgage their homes and whatnot. Or you're just out there to be in the public eye and saying, OK, uh, only a certain amount of women can do this because it's going to take money. If you don't have money or people willing to do it for you uh, pro bono, you're just going to go without um having a child. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Because that's what you're giving me when you're coming up saying you're going to try to be this ambassador thinking you're going to help every woman on earth uh, try to, you know, have a baby or they deserve to have a baby. Well, okay, have you thought about an adoption? You know, have you ever thought about going with one of those uh, organizations? No, be way around it if you're going to be out there speaking. Okay, you too can have a baby. But in the other hand, you're going to say, oh, you're going to have to have some money to do this IVF treatment. But I'm going to be a sports, uh, spokesperson for them because uh, that's what I believe in. That's what I did. And 
F the rest of you women out there. Try getting a baby however. Adopt one. Uh, buy one. or I don't know. But I'm only going to be the spokesperson and speak on this situation. Which go get your money together. And I can hook you up with an organization that can help you with IVF treatment. So, you know, I, that's the only thing I saw negative in this situation. But we're going to go on and get into the article and maybe we can find a little bit more clarification. And I might have to retract some of what I've already said, because like I said, I usually read the article with you all so we can catch the fine, uh, the finer things together, you know, that maybe explode out in our eyes, our ears and our mind. And I want to come into uh, with you all to have that one minded uh, sense of am I hearing am i observing it correctly or whatnot no you shouldn't buy them here no they're not gonna do that but anyway i'm sorry she always bothering me y'all come ask me questions so let me just go on and flow get my thoughts out but anyway uh ron collins from celebrity insider he brought this story to fruition he titled it, Kenya Moore proudly announces that she is helping infertile families have miracle babies. Hence the sense that I was telling you all, is she uh, helping just one set of infertile families or she's trying to encompass the whole global scale of people that's not quite as fortunate as she is to be you know, rich and famous, you know, what about the people that's working every day? You know, these hardworking women out here that still want to be out there providing for their family. You see what I'm saying, y'all? You see what I'm saying? I don't like y'all. Hush it up. Hush. But, okay, I'm sorry, guys, about the disturbance. Uh, the disturbance with my dog. My daughter just went out. She just went out to um, have dinner with her boyfriend and they just making all this kind of noise. Getting on my nerve. But anyway, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. But anyway, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted and y'all had to hear all of that noise. Um, basically, Kenya is signing up with this organization uh, for infertile families to help them or assist them with, you know, hopefully creating their own family that they never had through IVF treatment. So again, the author was uh, other article was Ron Collins, Celebrity Insider brought it out on their platform. So let's read a little bit and see what it says. Okay, okay, it goes in to say Kenya Moore proudly reveals an announcement to her friends or fans. She tells people that she is helping infertile families have miracle babies. V I I V F. Check out the post that she shared with her followers on social media account. So I'm guessing you go over there to her, her Instagram account. She has a, a, a plethora of information. Uh, it might overwhelm you all at once. I suggest that you take it in bits and uh, ascertain the information of the cost. Don't get into the fantasy world that you too can have a, a baby with Kenya Moore helping you and assisting you through this organization. Look for the meat and potatoes, okay? Look for how much it's going to cost you first and foremost, all right? Be honest with yourself and your spouse or boyfriend or whoever you're collaborating with having this miracle baby, or if you're doing it by yourself, you know, it's a solo dolo deal. How much money are you going to take from your savings to have this miracle baby, uh, pretty much in a chemistry set up lab type of situation going on where they take the sperm, they take the injection, they take the egg and they, boof, they, you know, hopefully put it in you if you're able to carry it or your surrogate and hopefully they'll have a hit with one of those eggs that they fertilize. But check the price, okay? See if it's not going to put you in poverty to have this miracle resource at your fingertips if you really can't afford it you know what i'm saying so you know tread lightly with the information before you get the big picture of yes i'm going to sacrifice everything to bring this baby in the world but you ain't gonna have a pot to piss in and a wing to swing it out of when it's time to care and love and provide shelter for the baby because you're gonna be ass out homeless but anyway, let's go back to the article. It says, uh, so proud to be a part of helping infertile families have hashtag miracle babies through I as the new ambassador for baby quest grants, 
which is a nonprofit organization. I am happy to be a part of the journey. Kenya began her post. Okay. She continued and said, join me Monday in New York for their annual fundraiser. If you cannot make it, please donate. The information is on the flyer or at their IG. Baby, please tag someone who needs financial assistance with IVF. Okay. Uh, then if you go on her Instagram account, you will see a whole banner with her and baby Brooklyn again, pimping out baby girl. Uh, but like I said, it's for a good cause. I'm going to think only the best uh, intentions went into this thoughtful situation that Kingdom found herself into. Uh, hopefully her antics and her demeanor will definitely not play a part. Uh, maybe y'all can separate the two that when she's on her reality show, she's going to be acting a damn fool and carrying on. But this truly may not be her uh, behavior outside. You know what I'm saying? Because Kenya wear many faces. Y'all don't want to address it or be concerned with it. But she wears many, many faces. She can, uh, what do you call it? She's just like a chameleon. She can uh, definitely be... And, uh, and change up in a situation depending on her environment she's in, okay? Um, and it goes on at the article. It says, a fan told Kenya the following. This was so me four years ago when I did not think that I could give my husband a baby. Now look at God. We have a two-year-old daughter and we conceived her naturally. I love to attend just to encourage women who want to have babies to let them know that there is such a thing called a miracle. See, that's why I'm like mixing modern medicine with, in a sense, creation where they're attempting to play God because people take the whole thing out of what's a miracle. They're going to put it in modern man that he developed all of this and its creation of, you know, someone actually playing God and, and not formulating the principle of how you're supposed to actually, you know, go through with childbearing and, and, and the whole Formation of how it got started through sexual contact, <coughs> excuse me, contact and stuff like that. But I'm seeing the picture, but I'm not seeing the picture. You understand what I'm saying? It, it goes a little bit deep, and I don't want to get that deep in this video. Maybe I'll do a separate video uh, for that of how I'm thinking. So I'm just going to reel it back in. Uh, I, you know, miracle to some people may mean different from another person's perspective. Let's just leave it at that when it comes to. Uh, uh, bringing children into the world. Okay, let's go back to another commenter. They said, someone else wrote, this is a great cause, but can we talk about Brooklyn's beautiful face for a quick moment? She's so gorgeous. Now see, I ain't even gonna comment on that commenter because she just took the emphasis of what's really important. We already know Kenya Baby Brooklyn is pretty, this, that, and the third, okay? We're talking about what she's trying to promote. So see, that's a double-edged Pen, pendulum swing sword going on, okay? Huh. More exposure out there for your kids, to me, is a bad thing. It brings a lot of unwanted attention that you may have to suffer for later on down the road. I'm not sure. It's just how I am thinking, how I was brought up. And then I had a comment that said, you know, I'm living in the back ages, I'm living in the dark ages because now we have social media, we have this, that, and the third. But I have to disagree with the commenter I like only my family members watching my children grow up. Unless I want to put it out there for public consumption. Everything don't need to be out there in the public. It's not like all of my viewers, all of my fans or however you know you want to see them. If I was a really, truly entertainer out there in the, the, the industry. I am not going to want everybody to be privy to what I do with my children. You know, that's just what I want to share with my intimate setting. You know, everything is not meant for public consumption. And I keep trying to tell people it's still a it's a fine line to what you want out there exposed of yourself as well as your family members because sometimes it can go bad and it's going to always come back to the decision you made to put them out in public like that. But that's all I'm going to say on that. Y'all know how I feel about that. So hopefully I will never get any other comments about that. But if I do, you know, it just is what it is. But uh, another fan, another comment on her page said, and uh, hopefully I can give a success story one day. I will be filling out the baby quest paperwork soon. Another commenter said, one person gushed over Kenya and told her, you better pay it forward, beautiful inside and out. 
Another commenter said, love this. I wish I was going to be in New York then. And someone else posted, seeing you in the Brooklyn Daily melts my heart. I'm so happy for you uh, at the Kenya Moore. You finally have your miracle baby. And it is beyond beautiful to see. Okay. And then it says, Kenya is currently receiving tons of support from her fans following the uh, excuse me, split from Mark Daly. Uh, it's going to be another video because I'm like, you know, Kenya's not really straightening up anything. A lot of rumors, a lot of indie windows out there. That's why I say even when I put out literature for you all or visual commentary on Kenya, you can't trust Kenya out there because she's, she's first controlling her narrative. She's controlling what she wants people to see. And when you hit a salacious storyline, it's going to keep you relevant in her field of working, which is the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is a, a, a show where she's supposed to give us so much drama that what spearheads her paycheck at the end of the day. So, you know, whether Kenya Moore gets remarried or uh, I'm sorry, she ain't divorced yet, but she decides to renege and stay in her marriage, then OK, that's fine. It's good. Even if she feels that she wants to uh, get out of her marriage and push forward and be a single mom and go on and conquer the world, that's fine too. But you see how Kenya like to have it playing on both ends of the stick? She's burning both ends of the stick and she got, got us in the middle. Okay, and I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle because I love the mindless drama she gives me at times. Sometimes she get on my nerves, you know, whatnot. And then sometimes I have to laugh myself because the, the woman is just phenomenal at just trying to keep us at bay of what she's going to do next. You know what I'm saying? She keeps us going. And, and mm -hmm. that's okay. That's good. And I am here for it. Okay? But y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Miss Kenya Moore uh, being an ambassador for a... Uh, a, a, a non-profit organization, non-profit organization. It seems like the intentions are good. It seems like it's good, but I don't know if they just using her because they are a newly formed uh, non-profit organization. Maybe they here to using each other, one for a good cause and one to stay relevant out there to show she is doing good for the community and society at large. Okay. Huh, but that's all I had. Got many more videos to put out. I told y'all what I felt about it. Told you what Mr. Ron Collins over at Celebrity Insider News wrote about it. Now it's time for you all to tell me how you feel about it on my open free platform where you all can speak your mind. Like Ron Osley say, speak your mind, my babies. <laughs> speak your mind. All right. See you next video. Bye-bye.